Sunday, everybody. What's going on? I have the lineup for the Yankees against the Cincinnati Reds today. They're going for the sweep in Cincinnati game three. The reason why it's out so early is because they're playing at 1135 this morning. Okay. 1135. It's going to be on Peacock. And I know that's probably frustrating for a lot of fans who aren't going to be able to access it. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I can I update you either via Twitter and Yankee, uh, YouTube shorts or whatnot. So if you're somehow not subscribed to this channel, please do that before you go, especially if you're a Yankee fan. Um, that way you, you, you make sure that you don't miss anything, especially valuable updates and, you know, big hits, this, that, and whatnot. So um, I want to make sure that you're updated on everything as it, as it pertains to the Yankees. Now with that, before I give you the lineup, Austin Wells, one of the top prospects. He's been on fire lately. I mean, since he's come back from his injury, his rib injury. And he, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a call up at some point this year, too. He was just named to the MLB Top 100 Prospects list for the first time. So, great achievement for him. Congratulations to Austin Wells. He's well-deserved. This guy's continuing to tear the cover off the ball. So are some other players. Cole Calhoun, who they signed a month ago. Franchi Cordero. Spencer Jones, Dominguez, Jason Dominguez is heating up as well. Everson Pereira is playing well. So we have a lot of positional depth moving forward. What we do need more is pitching depth. So I'm hoping that they address that with Brian Sabian and Omar Minaya at the at the draft next month. So but we'll see what happens. But before I do that, let's get to lineup. Glaber Torres is leading off batting, playing second base. Anthony Rizzo batting second, first base. DJ LeMayhew batting third, third base. Uh, Willie Calhoun batting cleanup at DH. <clears throat> Harrison Bader's batting fifth in center field. Jake Bowers batting sixth in right field. Anthony Volpe, shortstop, batting seventh. Isaiah Kanafleff is back in left field, batting eighth. He was pretty solid yesterday. Um, and Kyle Higashoka is at the dish. All he's going to be alternating, I think, with Ben Rorfett, batting ninth. And on the mound, on the bump, back for his first game of the season, Luis Severino. Yeah, Johnny Brito was optioned out yesterday to make room for him for the roster. So that's what we got. And again, <clears throat> you know, keep in mind too, tomorrow's an off day. So I don't expect a lot of length from Severino today. So I would expect all hands to be on deck in the bullpen, which would give the bullpen a rest anyway tomorrow. So I would expect to see several relievers, depending on how Severino does. I wouldn't expect too much from him, but as long as he comes out of it healthy and, you know, recovers well, I'm a happy camper. So, and I think the Yankees lineup without Judge, who's also getting the day off today. Maybe two days off. Again, he's on a heater. He's on a tear. But he's also coming off an injury, so they want to make sure they protect this guy too. So I'm not surprised he's off today. So, and enjoy the day off today and tomorrow. Get some rest and come back Tuesday. And the, uh, with the Hells Angels in the back here? <laughs> with, uh, with Baltimore Orioles coming into town. So that's going to be a tough series. So we want our guys to be fresh, recovered, feeling good, and ready to rock and roll. The Yankees are on a roll. They want, obviously, the vibe is really good. They want to continue on this role. So the Padres coming too, they're going to play. So it's going to be an interesting next bunch of series. Excuse me for the loud motorcycles in the background. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but it's like the, like the dark, night, dark night movie over here. Um, but <laughs> that's the lineup. Okay, Severino's on the mound, so be pumped. Again, I'll update you as often as I possibly can today. And uh, whether it's Twitter, YouTube, short or whatnot, you know what to do if you don't want to miss it. And hopefully we'll celebrate the Yankees win later. I'll be back with a post-game live stream so we can hopefully celebrate a sweep, which would be nice. They swept the A's. They beat Toronto three games to one. Like the Yankees are playing a hell of a lot better baseball than they were last month. So something to be excited about. They're in third place now, working their way back up. Baltimore's the next target to go after. We're playing next. They're in second place. And then obviously Tampa Bay has a substantial lead. It'll take longer to get to them, but anything's possible. Go Yankees. Talk to you all later.